DCFS says that they're already making many changes to deal with the issues that have recently come to light, but a former caseworker talked about the toxic work environment that very much needs to be addressed. The Department of Children and Family Services has already made some changes to their policies following outcries due to a two-year-old's death despite numerous concerning reports from doctors. And we can talk about vacancies all day long, but in my mind, what I have not been able to answer is how a call to call intake was not answered. DCFS continues to point to the 400 open positions in the department being the cause of a lot of problems. The culture of the regional departments has been scrutinized as a foster parent and former caseworker shared. Our values are that we treat people with dignity, respect, and compassion, and we do that while we're delivering services with integrity. So to hear people talk about a toxic culture just really Reason. Lawmakers say the issue isn't money and asked how they could help. Walter says they desperately need help with recruitment and retention to help ease the caseload of the current employees. The committee says that they're going to continue to have more public hearings and continue their questioning of DCFS to make sure that actionable changes are happening. At the Capitol Bureau Local Election Headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht.